ब्रह्मानंदम परम सुखदम केवल ज्ञान मूर्ति द्वंदातीत त्रिगुण रहित ಸದ್ಗುರುಷ್ಣುರುದೇವೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಮೂಲ ಗುರು ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಪೂಜಾ ಮೂಲ ಗುರು ಪದ ಮಂತ್ರ ಮೂಲ ಗುರುರ್ವಾಕ್ಯ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮೂಲ ಗುರು ಕೃಪ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ಟುಡೆ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಂಜ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಗವದ್ ಗೀತಾ by the grace of universal master sadguru in this stanza sadguru parmatma is telling if a person do any holy work yagna or tapa without faith in heart or reverence that holy bark has no meaning that holy bark do not use in this world and other world and that holy bark become fake untrue asraddhaya ಅಶ್ರದ್ಧುತ ದತ್ತಪ್ತ ಚಯತ್ ಅಸದಿತ್ಯೂಚ್ಯತೆ ಪಾರ್ಥ ನ ಚೇತ್ಯನೂಹ asraddhya it means without faith or without reverence hutam it means yagna dattam it means donation tapa it means tenacity or hard task istaptam taptam it means uh, performed by the tenacity kritam it means performed that work any good work cha and yat dos asadi asad means false useless iti in this way uchchate it means tells path my dear arjun 
न इट मीन्स नोट च इट मीन्स एंड तत्प्रेत्य तत् दैट प्रेत्य आफ्टर द डेथ नो इट मीन्स नॉट ई इट मीन्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड माई डियर अर्जुन इफ एनी वन डू द एनी होली वर्क इवन द टेनेसिटी इवन द डोनेशन और इवन द यज्ञ और अदर अदर वर्क a person do without faith or reverence that any type of holy work become useless and false that is uh, neither beneficial in this world nor after the death my dear friend सदगुरु सच्चिदानंद परमात्मा लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज टेलिंग अबाउट द वेरी वेरी सीक्रेट ट्रुथ एंड दैट मे बी हार्ड टू हियर बट सच्चिदानंद परमात्मा द मास्टर ऑफ मिलियंस अनकाउंटेबल गैलेक्सी एंड ओनली एंड ओनली कॉन्शियसनेस लाइफ बेस ऑफ ऑल इनर्जीज and the nature he is very merciful he is very miraculous he can do anything because in his presence or in in his existence then nature do his work in automation so when he himself come on the earth in the form of krishna and always presents in this earth in the form of sat gurus and he will not tell anything wrong to anyone because he is the beyond the telling or beyond the hearing he is one consciousness and he is telling only for the lovers and the seekers he need not anything name fame anything he only comes on the earth for the mercy for the love because the seekers and lovers they always cry praying and requesting from birth to birth so the request accepted by the sachidananda parmatma and he said masters or he comes himself my dear friend it is a limitations no sadguru can say that he is sachidanand parmatma even the krishna also not tell this that thing but in the privacy of his disciples and lovers he told everything so gita is the private conversation between the krishna and arjuna 
it is only come in the public after many many year because there is no alternative of the jnana for the seekers and lovers my dear friend in this stanza of the gita arjun blessed by the krishna by this precious words that is the key words the key word is the reverence the key word is the faith a person who has no faith in the god or in the master he will never surrender in the feet of the master he will never follow the master's teaching he will think that master is a general man like him and he even he will give the advice to master he want to teach the master this type person is many more in this world they want to teach the master because this person having their own brain own mind that is called mana so that the mana only and only the master of that persons they go they do they flow they perform every work right or wrong in the dark illusion of mind so krishna is telling this secret if a person has no faith in the master sadguru then only one alternative will be remaining that remaining alternative is that he will do as his mind says and everybody knows the mind is very unstable and misguiding authority of the blind persons today i talk a person he was a very very down shoulders he is telling anything is fixed in the life that god is fix every fruit every phenomena everything because the mind tell this type of solutions they are not right maya cannot fix enlightenment to anyone the jailer cannot bind do not bind to release his prisoners the hunter cannot leave his birds but the illusion of mind can be create any type of misunderstanding or the dilemmas So Krishna is telling this thing in this stage ja if you have no faith in any enlightened master if you have no master in your life that if the master have also but you have no faith 
in that master. Then what is happening? Only one way is remaining for you, that is faithless way, that you will be caught in the illusion of your mind. So, this is the negative teaching of the positive thing. Without master, without guide, guidance of the master, how can you go on the path of the truth? Because you do not know about the truth. You will go only the wrong, wrong side, wrong path. Because the specialist of the truth is the master. The master knows the existence. Master knows the Paramatma. The reverence to the faith is not blind. Masters always put you in the awareness of consciousness. And as, as you are aware, as, as your faith develops, Masters never teach you the blindness. Master always teach you the light and open eyes. The Sakshi is the opening eyes process. The blind faith is equal to non-faith. The blind faith always we convert into the darkness. So Master teach his disciple, sit 70 minutes and do the Sakshi and develop your awareness inside and see yourself then faith. If a person do the yagna, he cannot do the yagna. He will do only act. But the secret of the yagna, he will be fall down. He will be give up. Because the secret of yagna only can teach the enlightened master. So the Krishna is telling here, if you have no enlightened master, then you have no faith, then you have no faith, you are the slave of the mind, then you are the slave of the mind, then you will do the yagna, that yagna is meaningless. Because the yagna is untrue, because there is no connection with the truth. Connection with the truth can possible only when you are come in the shelter of the enlightened master. And Krishna is telling, when you do any tenacity or tapa, that is only exercise of your body and mind, you will get nothing without the master. If you do the donation, you will give the donation because you are blind. You will give that donation to the wrong person in wrong place and wrong manner. So your donation will return you pain, will return you sorrow, will return you regret. And this type of the tenacity also. If you do the tenacity without the enlightened master's guidance, that the dogs are barking in the street, they are suffering in the cold and the summer, so they are also doing tenacity, but they are not liberated. The donkeys also the same. They feel all the summer and all the winter, every season, rain, even everything on their bodies. They are not doing the tenacity, but they are looking like doing tenacity. So your life will be become. Your tenacity will become. 
like the animal animally tall tolerance so that is a not a true function that is not a divine practice that is not a holy practice that cannot save you they cannot save you from the death and birth cycle because without them without master you only use your intellect and your intellect is the collection of your experiences previous lives and your experiences of previous life that is only the worldly experiences there is no spiritual there is no divine there is no the fixed guidance if you have fixed guidance why you come in the birth and death you must be liberate so you are coming in the birth and death it prove that your knowledge is not complete your knowledge is fake your knowledge is not useful in this path of liberation so if a person doing the tenacity without the guidance of the master he is only suffering from the pain and he is sadist he is sadist if a person is doing the donation giving the donation without the guidance of enlightened master he is giving his weapon in the hand of the murderer you have a revolver and you you are giving your revolver to the person who want to kill you so maya will kill you by this donation so the krishna is telling what is the fake what is the right what is the wrong what is the sat what is the asat this type of activities without enlightened master's guidance they are all called asat they are fake they are untrue and you are wasting your life you are wasting your energy you are wasting your money you are wasting your time you are wasting your opportunity of liberation because the master is a bridge between you and the god existence the master is true and maya is untrue your being is false your karma is false your three bodies and five koshas they are false only the master is great person only the master is a big ship he can cross you this ocean of the sorrow if you join the master you are join the ganga is so small river in muddy river or the dirty river can join the ganga he convert into the ganga so the master is a ganga pure ganga and you are the jiva if you join the master you will become the shiva so the istanja is telling if you are doing any the japa tapa havan dana punya if you are doing any type of chanting tenacity yagna adonation or the holy work and they will useless in this world also and as well as they will useless in the future coming world worth because now you are going in 84 million death and birth cycle and your yagna your tapa your japa your everything will not help you for the freedom of this cycle my dear friends this istanja is giving the inspiration to taking the guidance of the master enlightened master and always enlightened master 
do first thing. He want to clean up your, your inside. And how he will clean up inside? He give a very good washing instrument or tool that is the Sakshi. Sakshi is bring a cleanness inside of you. Sakshi can bring a awareness inside of you. Cleanness is that when you do the Sakshi, then you see every negative or positive things and you detach, you know that I am not positive, I am not negative. I am only the being, I am only the seer, I am only the witness. That what will be happen? That a miraculous miracle will be happen. That you will become tensionless. No tension in your life. You see inside like a play. You completely detach from your mind game. You completely detach from your physical body activities. And you never worry, you never hurry, you never rest, you never intention. What is happen then? Then happen. Now you are crushing yourself, your body, your energy, your your presence was involving in the wrong, wrong way. That you will be separate from the illusion of the Maya. The body will completely come in the natural activity and the nature governing body. Because the body is the the owner of this body is nature. So nature itself purify your body and then you have no tension, that tension created diseases will not come in your life. Like a blood pressure, angina, heart attack, etc. Diabetes, failure of the organs, headache, half headache, brain hemorrhage, etc. They will not come. So the Sakshi meditation of awareness is the prevention of this type of physical diseases. And unfortunately, before adopting the Sakshi meditation, you have already these diseases, then the diseases will be reduced and maybe go. So it is very, very big benefit of the Sakshi meditation. Second thing is that, if you do this Sakshi meditation continuously, then what will be happen? You will become a peaceful person and your mind will become a fearless, no manias. No extra burden. You can sleep well. Your mind will have take rest properly. No schizophrenia. No anangenia. No any phobia. And no any depression. And no any attack of the society. So the mental health and miraculous mental result they will become automatically by only 70 minutes of Sakshi meditation per day. And third thing is that, but that thing is, if you are mentally very strong person, if you are physically very good person, and you are very good seer, you are very good witness of in this meditation, then what will be happen? A miracle will happen. The in that miracle, you will see your anger. The anger is coming and you can see the anger. Then you see the anger, you can never caught in the anger. You can never flow in the anger. So the anger created crime, they will not will be performed by you. They will not done by you. You will not do anything wrong in the anger. Because you can see the anger, anger comes and goes and you stay in the equilibrium. The same thing in the lust. Lust comes inside and goes. And you will be become the witness of the lust and you will not involve in the lust. 
then you can keep yourself pure and you cannot involve in the violence with the women. You cannot involve in the harassment of the women. So, the same thing is happen in the grid. The greediness will come and goes. The thoughts of greediness will come and goes and you can see their thoughts of greediness. Then you will not caught in the grid. That you will not caught in the stream of possessiveness and you can save yourself from the wrong type of army, so the economic crime will not done by you. My dear friends, these three big benefits, they can be given all over the world by this Sakchi meditation. So why don't we not spread this Sakchi meditation all over the world? So we decided we are concretely stand on this mission. The mission is world peace by meditation. Because this benefit brings the peace in the human and human make the society. So the societies will become the peaceful. So societies make the nations and nation will become the peaceful. The nations will become the peaceful. There is no need of atom bombs, neutron bombs, hydrogen bombs. There is no need the fighter jets. There is no need the fleets. There is no need the gun carriages. There is no need any weapons. So we can save four dimensional money saving. One from the physical health person will be become physically strong. And they have not faced many diseases, they will prevent the diseases. Prevention is better than cure. So this prevention of the diseases can be saved millions, millions of the dollars. Billions, billions of the dollars in our hospitals all over the world. This money will be saved. Second thing, the mental hospitals will not have any burden of the mental diseases. So the money will save in the mental hospitals treatments also. Third thing, there is no grievances, no police cases, no court cases, no rap cases, no crime, no murder. The Crime graph will be fall down near about to zero, one two percent, or near about zero. So the person can save the money which is expenditure is in the court, in the police, in the other bail etc in the jails. So we can save the millions of the dollar by this is saving this is infrastructure. So three dimensional saving here. And four dimension is that we can cut our defense budget. My dear friend, the billions of the billion, trillions of the trillions money will be saved and that money can be used in the welfare of the human society the hungry persons, the shelterless persons, the jobless persons, the physical, mental and casual and development in the development of person, humanity. We can save this money. We can utilize this money in the welfare purpose of the humanity all over the world. There will be only love. Every nation will love each other. This earth will be become like a heaven 
and the heavenly God and Goddess, they want to come, they want to burn here, because we are give up all the foolishness. Now we are living in the foolishness of the mind. My dear friend, this mission, the bird piece of meditation, must be spread rapidly and we need a very good institutions for teaching this meditation. So we want to build up international meditation center in India and many, many countries. My dear friend, this is the biggest spiritual gift from the Sanatana Dharma from the India and this is non-religious me meditation like a CF CFL or like a LED or like a refrigerator. This is an instrument of the spiritual science. It will not be contradictory to your religions. It will be helpful to your all religions. So my dear friend, Without any prejudiceness of caste, creed, nationality and religion, I am inviting all of you, please join this mission, please join this meditation. Like you join the yoga. Yoga can only turn off your physical body, but this meditation can turn off your life completely and make you peaceful, tensionless and aware. My dear friend, if you like my discourses, please subscribe my channel on YouTube, Swami Sachidananda. You are the same consciousness and same love. So, I am sending you my respect, my love, my blessings from existence. Thank you very much. Love you very much.